The James Webb Space Telescope's first deep field view shows MIX 0723, where a massive group of galaxy clusters act as a magnifying glass for the objects behind them, including faint, distant galaxies. Greg Robinson's boss calls him the most effective leader of a mission I have ever seen in the history of NASA. He fixed NASA's giant space telescope. Reluctantly, Gregory Robinson was enjoying another job when NASA persuaded him to take on an enormous astronomy project that was billions of dollars over budget and years behind schedule. In 2018, the James Webb Space Telescope, the beleaguered project to build an instrument that could gaze back to the earliest stars in the universe, appeared to be going off the rails. The pieces of the telescope and its instruments were complete, but they needed to be assembled and tested. The launch date was slipping further into the future, and the costs, already approaching $8 billion, were again rising. This is when Gregory Robinson was asked to take over as program director of Webb. At the time, Mr. Robinson was the deputy associate administrator for programs at NASA, making him responsible for assessing the performance of more than 100 science missions. James Webb Space Telescope to release color images information about the James Webb Space Telescope's first full color images and science data, which will be publicly released on July 12th. One of those images will be the deepest image of universe that has ever been taken. This is farther than humanity has ever looked before. The Hubble Space Telescope's Elmer Deep Field, which revealed over 10,000 previously unseen distant galaxies in a tiny region of the sky thought to be devoid of objects. These ancient galaxies existed between 400 and 800 million years. But as the universe expands and the older and most distant galaxies speed away from us, their light gets red-shifted farther into the infrared, making them dimmer and invisible to the capabilities of previous telescopes.